Welcome down to Clarence Pier 2023. Yes, the park is open. This isn't a preview. This is the open park. And actually they've opened the side gate as well, which is a real, real help for people that see this walking along the promenade. And I walked along the promenade last week um, after I've been here and you know before obviously today. And you can see this a long, long way down the road. But here is the upside down house. Now we gave you a preview in here last time. If you're on our Facebook page or on Twitter, you will have seen some pictures from inside as well. I don't know if the kids were me today, so it does seem a bit silly to go in there and have pictures taken of myself. But we will come back and get a full family picture. Upside down house now open. Now the ride lineup is nearly complete for 2023. Uh, the Dodgeham sadly are closed today. However, tidal wave is open, the coaster is open, the log flume's open, the teacups you can see going around there. They're open, up and running. The Sambala jumping bugs aren't quite here yet, but they will be very, very soon. The seals are here. The Mad Mouse is open. The Carousel's open. The Waltz is open. The Twister's open. The new jumping frogs are here, which of course weren't here when I came down for the preview. They were sort of built up the next day. And Tornado is open as well, the KMG Freecal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over the other side of the park with Twister, work our way back through and take you on near enough every ride to be fair maybe not the rip i don't know we'll think mm, mm, we'll have a think about the log flume here we go first stop of the day is going to be the twister that's a lovely new lighting for this year we did see it the other day and it is bright as i'm giving it a ride yet so that's the next job get on give it a ride ah uh, look at the lights the lights are back up and running for 2023 so our first ride of the uh, of the day is going to be on the Twister. Classic Twister, you can't beat a classic Twister to be honest with you. And it does look gleaming. So it is great to see the closed season finally coming to an end with my local places reopening. Um, you know, we're a little way away yet from Fort Park and Chesterton reopening, although it's not that long. This is where the rides are at. Here we go. Great music as well. Honestly, great music. It's good to see as well, it's quite busy down here. Apparently yesterday was really busy. Uh, opening day yesterday, Saturday. I was away, unfortunately I couldn't get down here. But uh, I've come straight from work today. So it's sort of middle of the day rather than, um, rather than sort of uh, at the beginning. But... You know I love visiting my local parks. This is one of them. I can walk here. I can walk to this park, which is unreal, really, absolutely unreal. Right, that was a great ride on the Twister. Now that's done with, we're gonna head over to the Walter. Now then, I know what you're gonna say. I didn't do the Walter yet, it was actually loaded so this one was cycling and i know i don't generally like the frog hoppers however this one isn't an over the shoulder of strength which is already a massive plus for me and look at it it is immaculate i actually don't remember this ride back in 2003 perhaps i should oh oh here we go it's a very different landscape from up here though looking over the park oh here we go uh, oh, it's got some bounce as well. It really has got some bounce. Now, really importantly, I don't actually want to lose my shoes. I've come straight from work, so because I'm lazy, I've got slip on shoes. And I don't want to lose them on here, which is going to be the biggest problem. But it's great to see a couple of different rides here this year. I mean, look at this. This thing is brilliant. Oh, it's got some bounce to it as well. Tornado, obviously the Twister was looking immaculate. The Waltz was looking immaculate. We will be going on the Waltz, so we're definitely going on it today. I guess the question is, am I brave enough to go on the log flume today? Or is that just a stupid idea? What do we think? Do we make the log flume last? It looks so cold over there. Uh. 
some real bounce to it. <laughs> oh, it's got some real bounce to it, this. Love it, absolutely love it. What a great ride. It's a classic walk to this one. In true means, it's a classic. The park have looked after it so, so well. We've got all the wonderful padding that's been added over the last couple of years, as well as the incredible sound system, lighting, and of course, the superhero theme. Now then, I don't know whether or not I can get it spinning without someone else in the car with me, but I'll give it a bash. I'll give it a bash. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Last time Cody and I come on this, apart from losing everything out my pocket, we did get it spinning continuously. So that's what I'm going for. I don't care what way it spins. There we go. Oh, so close, so close. There we go. I got it. There we go. There we go. There we go. harder to get spin on in your own but not impossible we've got a good couple of spins there I have to say absolutely loving the sound systems across the park I think they must have been improved I will ask the question but I think they must have been improved right next has got to be the mad mouse first coaster of the day first coaster of the day of course it's the Mad Mouse Coaster looking over to... Actually, it seems a bit choppy over there. Oh, there we go. Now then, this coaster replaced the Aging Sky Rides. It's 100% better. 100% better than what, uh, what the old Sky Rides was, which came, to a, uh, which came to an end. But look at the views. The views are different from up here. As we look forward to a bit of Mad Mouse action. It doesn't feel like yet I've been on enough roller coasters this year. I can't lie to you, it doesn't feel like I have. So this is really, really welcome. Here we go. Great ride there on the Mad Mouth. Great to see it back up and running for 2023. And I think we're gonna hop straight down to the other coaster now. I have the whole ride to myself. There is nobody else on here. Now I should twist round and you'll see nobody. Uh, it's a great little coaster this one.
So the SBSB's uh, spinning coaster was one of only two when it opened. Um, the other one was a prototype one which was sold and uh, kept in America. And Clarence Pier were on it to get this open. And it's a fantastic little coaster, it really is. SBF these days seem to be taking over the world to be honest. Seem to be taking over the world. Whoa! And no laps the same, that's what we like. No laps the same. A cracking little ride. Great little ride there on Tidal Wave after the Mad Mouse. So yeah, two really fantastic coasters. Now fortunately, I think for me, that the uh, water ride isn't open. Which will be a godsend because it's cold and I feel if it is open, I'll, I'll have to go on it. Which I don't want to do. So the Zamberla jumping bugs are still waiting arrival. They're not here quite yet, but they are finishing off the area. They are due imminently. The seals ride, the teacups. I am told that if I go on the teacups, I can spin them as much as I like. That is like a red rag to a ball, that is. I think we might do that. I think that's what we might do. So this was the very first freak out I ever went on. I wonder how many times we can ride it today. What a fantastic ride that is. I love a good KMD freak out. Especially one where it all began for me on this one here. So there is Tornado, the KMG freak out. This was one of the first ones to grace our shores here in the UK down at Funland, Hayling Island. And I went on it when it opened and I remember looking at it thinking, what on earth is that ride? Because you know, we'd seen like Vortex and some of the afterburners, but these things were just unheard of, the slightly smaller models. So for me, this is really nostalgic. There'll be a lot of people that are like happy it's back that quite honestly have never ridden it before and weren't around and doing these kind of things in 2003. But for me, this is real nostalgia and it rides brilliantly. So yeah, this takes me back. This takes me back yeah, 20 years. Ouch, how old am I? is one of the new attractions for 2023, the teacups. Now, I have been told I can spin these as fast as I like, which, you know, as we said, it's a red rag for the ball. So I'm gonna go on them and I'm gonna try and spin them as fast as I can. And let's see what they've got. One-handed, one-handed spin. I need the boys here for this. Really need the boys. Kurt, where are you? Whee! I'll tell you what though. You can tell they get some pace. Now it's very rare these days we can actually take you on teacups to be fair, so how's it looking behind? I don't feel dizzy yet. It's no spinning spider. 
but I think it could be. I kind of want to swap arms. I need swap arms. Right, hold on. I need swap arms. I can't even do two. I can't do two arms with the camera. I can't do it. Okay, now in hindsight, because there's no moving platform, actually better going this way round. Right, that's a lesson learned. That is a lesson learned. Next time we try again. Here are the rather stunning looking jumping frogs. So these were here in 2003, we did say. I don't remember them, I've got to be honest with you. But apparently they were here. They are just so good looking, they've been really done up nicely. Really superb looking ride, really is. And it gave a great ride as well. Here's the Mad Mouse. Andy, Andy look. Adam. That's the crazy Andy, I'm sure everyone knows him. What a great ride this is giving today. Here we go. It's a great drop. Underneath the lift still, offers a bit of variation. coaster we had a great great ride on the mad mouth Woo! so uh, anyone who's seen the other video I've just done 10 in a row on this and uh, I filmed on here as well for uh, <laughs> I filmed on here for the vlog and now Andy dragged me back on so this is 12 times on this huh? 12 oh, times mind you are. today oh, right once I'm done on this I am gonna go and finish this vlog on the log flume which sounds insane because my hands are red, numb, but that's, that's what's going to happen. He's going on the log for That's what's going to happen. In his work gear as well. Oh yeah, I'm in my work stuff as oh, well. Oh, you're yeah. working tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash and dry that when I get home, I think. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, right. Get two cycles on it. So we'll get the full height Woo. in a sec. And then we're going to switch into spin mode very shortly. Here we go. Here comes the spin. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! You're loving it, really. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh! You're going for another nine points, Oh, no, Chad. No, he's not doing Watch it. for me. Right, this seems one of the stupider oh, things that I've done. I'm not going on this. One of the stupider things I've done, but it's freezing cold. I'm freezing cold. Andy's got to find his highly amusing coaster crazy Andy. I'm sure you know who he is. And this seems like a really stupid idea. However, <coughs> I've got a brand new camera. I want to see how waterproof it is. You know, so so uh, so. Uh, I don't really have any other answers to be honest with you other than this seems like a really bad idea. Oh God. It's just... Uh, I have seen people go on this today. They're gonna find this hilarious, aren't they? Of course, block break. Automatic, uh, automatic lift hill after block break. Oh, look how clean it is though. Can we just admire how well painted it is before I go down and get absolutely drenched on this? I can see me beeping out some... Oh, a lot of water at the bottom! Have a word! Ah! Ah, oh, yeah! F*** him! I'll have beeped that. I'll have beeped that. Hoo! 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 
<laughs> I definitely beat that. I 100% beat that. There's no doubt about the fact that I will have beat that. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. I'll tell you what, Andy, I think you should get in, Andy. Get in. He's soaking. No, I mean, it's. <laughs> but I kind of want to see Andy go through the pain as well, to be honest with you. Oh, let me just, just dry the end there. Oh, but yeah, you know, the end of the day, it's a clean ride. It looks the piece. Look how, look how well it's been looked after. It's got clean water, and uh, it finishes the vlog. So actually, I'm going to finish it on the ride because I'm not going to feel like doing this when I get off. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for joining us from Clarence Bill. Obviously them having us down today is amazing as well. Uh, massive thank you to the park for everything they do for us over closed season. And I'm ending this here because it's, it's cold and I'm a little wet. Thank you for joining us. Please, please, please give us a like. Give Andy a like as well, I know it's crazy. He thinks he's funny, doesn't he? I'm and we'll worried. see you next time <laughs> on UK Theme Parks.